everyone today I am going to be doing a yard sale haul it's been a little while I feel since I've made one but I started working again so I don't have off you know all week to just go whenever I can only go on Saturdays now um, so I just haven't really been finding much and since it's getting towards the end of yard sale season that's just how it works I always find stuff at the beginning of the season but then it kind of trickles out towards the end and I don't find as much but I did go last week and only found a couple of things. That's why I didn't really make a haul because I didn't really have much to make a haul with. Uh, but I did end up going today and I went to um, the fill a bag sale that I go to every month. However, the last six months when I was not working, I was going the first day and it's $10 for a bag the very first day. Um, and then $3 on the last day, which is Saturday. So, but I still ended up being able to fill a bag for $3. So it kind of just goes to show that not everyone's looking for the same kind of stuff as you. Um, so I am going to show you guys what I got there first. So a lot of it is clothing. But this is my bag that I stuffed. So it's pretty much to fill a plastic um, grocery type bag and I actually had this stuff in here better but I was rifling through it just to see everything that I bought because you know I just like throw things in my bag and then I get home and I'm like ooh, I don't even remember what all I threw in there so I was looking through everything uh, but the first thing I got is a Michael Kors corduroy blazer and I'm surprised this was still there considering um, it was the sale was already three days uh, but this is just kind of like a navy blue color and it's got a little bit of an other color mixed in but I thought that was really cute so I got that uh, next thing I got was a free people sweater and this is just a short sleeve blue button-up sweater like a knit sweater short sleeve pretty thick and it's also got a hood inside it's just like a green striped material and that is by free people hopefully it's showing up okay on my camera so this whole bag I paid three dollars for so like had I gone the first day and I would have gotten all this it would have been ten dollars but then again there might have been some stuff that you know obviously I didn't pick up because I wasn't there um, next thing I got was a bathing suit and I do usually resell a lot of stuff that I buy so just because I bought it doesn't mean it's necessarily for me kind of thing but I thought this was super cute and it is just a kind of like I would call this like a swimsuit dress which is nice for if you're trying to cover up like your thighs and stuff like that uh, but it's by a brand called what brand is this uh, a sure fit and it's just brown kind of print so I thought that was really cute I think someone will really like that um, I got this dress and this was really pretty it's just by Derek Hart but it's kind of like a bandage type dress it's got like this floral print down the sides and then like a black not necessarily solid in the middle but it looks like it might be pretty slimming looking um, just considering of the floral down the sides and it's made of this really soft material um, just very kind of thin but soft what is that it's polyester and spandex yeah polyester and spandex but it feels really soft um, I got this little sweater and this is by Ralph Lauren and it's just a knit sweater. This is obviously a child's size sweater but um, I don't normally resell children's clothing because I don't really know a whole lot about it since I don't have kids. I'm not really uh, familiar with all of like the name brands of children's clothes and children's boutique clothing and stuff like that. But I decided to throw this in my um, bag because I thought it was super adorable and fall is coming and I just thought, you know, someone would probably really like that, um, hopefully, for their child. So I got that. I got one purse and I just could not pass this up. I thought it was so stinking cute. Um, it just says accoutrements on it, so I'm guessing that's the brand, but it looks like a vintage um, bowling ball bag but it's just a little mini purse and I just oh my gosh I love this I think it's so cute 
Um, and then the inside just looks like this. But it's also got the little gold feet on the bottom as well. So I just thought that was so adorable. I got two men's golf sweaters. And they had a couple golf sweaters, um, nice brands. And I only got the printed ones because I figured they'd sell better than the solid colors. They had some solid colors as well. And I should have just bought them all and sold them as a lot. But I didn't really have a whole lot of room in my bag, so I didn't. I just bought the printed ones. And the first one I got is Joss A. Bank. And it's just blue with stripes. So these are like men's golf sweaters. And then this other one is by Brooks Brothers. And it looks like there might be a little bit of discoloration around the color, but I am going to wash that and try to get it out because I thought this was a really nice um, golf sweater. So, got that one as well. And let's see, I got one pair of shoes. Surprisingly, I found a pair of shoes. The shoes were really picked through. But, oh my gosh, these are so stinking cute. These are, like, vintage. I don't even know what year these might have been from. The 60s, 70s, I'm not quite sure. But they're by a brand called Chandler's, made in Brazil. And how cute are these sandals? They got a wood platform heel with, um, uh, what do you call this stuff? This, um, roping kind of thing thing like on the heel and then on the top of the sandal these are so cute and they're my size too so I might be keeping these because I just think they're so adorable and they're in great condition considering I'm pretty dang sure these are hella vintage so I got those um I threw these in my bag these are a brand new pack of thank you cards and it looks like someone was selling them at a yard sale for a dollar and that's the thing with this um community center the fill a bag sale it's all like donated stuff like so um leftover yard sale stuff things that aren't selling in their thrift store kind of thing like that but these are printed on uh paper with soy ink so they're like a recycled um card set and it comes with 10 cards and even the envelopes themselves have like the same kind of print on them but they just say thanks on the front so I threw them in my bag because I thought they were really nice and then the last thing I found at the fill a bag sale was this um, vintage um, book plate set and it says ex libris on the front and these are just these really cool vintage book plates so basically you would attach this onto the inside front of your book and like write your name on it and I just thought these were so awesome and they're like crazy vintage and it comes in a pack so it came with like all of these and just super cool I love finding um, vintage stuff like this and they also come with I believe these are the things that help them attach themselves to the book I'm not quite sure uh, but they're by Antioch book plate company so it's just a very like old um, pack of vintage book plates I just thought these were so stinking cool so I threw them in my bag I think this was like my favorite find at the sale so I got those so that was everything at the fill a bag sale and stopped at one sale down the street oh my goodness it was so freaking hot today it's ridiculous it is so hot outside so I wasn't even really in the mood to go yard sailing like outside I was trying to find ones indoors and there was an indoor yard sale down the street so I got a puzzle and this was a dollar and it's by Springbok which I got a puzzle from this company um, at a yard sale not that long ago but this one is called Kitten Caboodle and it has all these cute little kittens on the front um, and I already put together the candy themed puzzle that I got at a yard sale already so I needed a new puzzle and I thought that was super cute and then I found these Calvin Klein um, slip-ons these are men's and they're my boyfriend's size they look brand new I don't think they were ever worn and these were five dollars so I thought that was a great deal they were originally like 
I think a hundred something and then I was seeing them on websites for like 70 80 so for five bucks I mean that's awesome so these are really nice dress shoes and they will fit him so that was a really good find so last week I found a couple of things and that's why I didn't do a haul because it was only like literally four items but the first thing was a Bath and Body Works candle in Mary Cookie and this was 25 cents um, it was burned one time and it looks a little dusty in there but um, for a quarter I just use these candles um, I burn them when I'm in my bathtub so I don't really care that it was burnt already once and I just love the Bath and Body Works candles so for a quarter yeah I'm gonna buy it so I got that and let's see I found one piece of clothing this is just a cute little vest it's by a brand called pins and needles and i just thought this was so adorable it's just like coral colored it looks like a crochet um lace on the front and then the back it's kind of solid so i just thought that was really cute and i believe that was a dollar and then at the same sale I bought that, I got a vintage little hug-a-bunch. And this is one of the little baby hug-a-bunch, if you remember these, um, from back in the day. So this was $0.10. Cents, and I just couldn't pass them up because I love hug-a-bunch. And then I also found another vintage toy. This is, I don't remember this. This is from 19. 84 but I don't remember this this is called robot man he is a stuffed figure that plays music but he needs batteries so I'm not quite sure um you know how he works or um if he if he works I'm gonna have to figure out how to put um batteries in him while he's still in the box but that's why I bought him because he's brand new well, I shouldn't say brand new, but you know what I mean. Still on his original box with his tags and everything like that. So this was $2. And it is by... It's by Kenner, which was also the maker of Huggy Bunch toys. And then the last thing that I have to show is one thing I got at the thrift store. I haven't gone to the thrift store in a very long time. Um, I went to a church thrift store because they were having a 50% off sale and I'm going to Goodwill hopefully next week because it's been forever since I've gone thrifting. Since I've been going yard selling, I don't normally go thrifting. I usually go thrifting during the colder months when there's not really yard sales to go to because I love thrifting but the prices are so high compared to going yard selling. But I did find these 50% off at the church thrift and these are Clark's um, heels. And these are so cute. I love them. They're black velvet with a chunky kind of heel. These are so pretty. And they don't look like they were ever worn either. They are in great shape. So I picked those up. I thought they were so cute. And I love Clark's because they're really, really comfortable shoes. So anyway, guys, that is everything that I got um, yard selling for the past two weeks plus my one little thrift store find. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.